Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be sharing with you some fall decor ideas for displaying your vases or containers that aren't just florals. I used a variety of natural elements this year, some new, some old, that I really wanted to share with you to give you some inspiration for your fall decor this year. Okay, so when I start thinking about fall, I often think about the changing colors, warmer elements, rusts, browns. I think of natural outdoor items that add lots of texture and coziness. But of course, I also like things to be light, bright, and fresh. And so you'll see all throughout my space, um, lots of contrast with whites and creams, but also some of those natural moodier elements and touches of the outdoors. So one thing that um, I've done this year is I've added unusual um, elements to um, our decor. So here you can see these pheasant feathers that I got on Amazon. Um, by the way, anything that I purchased on Amazon, I will uh, link in the description box below. And if I can source out some of the other items, I'll do that as well. Um, but I love this particular vignette. I've got my driftwood that I normally use for crafting in this glass container. I love that contrast. I think it's just really beautiful. The feathers are in this planter that I got at HomeSense here in Canada and the sand and fog candle as well with this lovely pumpkin harvest smell on this round tray. Um, and I just really love how it corrals everything together. I purchased these bunny tails on Amazon and I just love um, how they look in the black stoneware vase that I got at HomeSense here in Canada. I think it's just an unexpected feature you wouldn't expect to see in a heavy stoneware um, vase. And the bunny tails are just a perfect hit of the outdoors here in our entryway. And this velvet pumpkin that I got a few years back as well just finishes off this um, vignette. So I purchased these dried pompous grasses on Amazon and I purchased a bouquet, a couple of bouquets actually for a DIY wreath that I shared on the blog and I'll leave a link in the description box to that tutorial. But I had leftovers and so I decided to pick up a, a ceramic vase at HomeSense Canada and then I just placed these pompous grasses in them and I just think they look so beautiful. They're so natural. Um, you know, they're not kind of bunched together. I'm kind of letting them fall loose and I think they look so lovely. I love this particular vase because it's got that mix of kind of that shiny element that you wouldn't expect and then that kind of matte element at the top and I think it just looks great in our dining room. I also have a hit of very traditional fall florals with these burgundy florals that I picked up at HomeSense. And I just really love that burgundy color. You're seeing a lot of it, I think this season and last. And I love things that look very natural, something that you would see in nature. And I really love the moodier element that they bring to our sitting space, especially sitting in this matte black vase. I just love how it brings a moodier element yet still feels like fall um, and I just think it adds a, a really great traditional touch to our great room. Now on our coffee table um, I've got this um, small green plant. It's a faux plant and I love how um, it still brings in that fall feeling compared to the fiddle leaf tree in the back which is sort of a deep dark bright green. This is more of a sagey green. It has a little bit of a warmer tone to it. And this is actually a faux container. It's a faux leather piece. Um, so I just stuck the uh, original um, plant in it. The faux leather actually belongs to this glass container, which is really lovely. And I could always, um, you know, leave it um, as is. But I really wanted to create um, a different kind of look for um, uh, my coffee table. And so I just um, stuck this plant in and uh, voila, I've got a new cool um, leather <laughs> um, vase. Um, I also repeated um, the pattern of adding driftwood to glass here on the coffee table. Again, I think it adds a really lovely organic natural touch to our coffee table and matches well with the other moody or natural elements here. Well, let me know in the comments below which was your favorite look. 
Thanks for watching. I hope this video inspired you or gave you some ideas on how to incorporate a variety of natural elements in your vases and containers that aren't just florals. Catch you all next time. Take care.